Hello and welcome to the next in the series of CRRC's online tutorials for improving your professional report writing skills. My name is William Dunbar. Today we're looking at cross tabs and how you must read cross tabs correctly. It's a simple mistake to make, but over here on the left hand side on the online data analysis tool, you see the variables in the rows and in the columns. You want the variable you're looking into in the row and the, the way you're cross-tabulating it amongst gender or settlement in the column. So let's look at knowledge of English in the row and then we put respondents gender for instance in the column and that gives us this beautiful, come on, beautiful graph here which gives us an interesting result suggesting that 67% of men have no basic knowledge of English but only 61% of women have no basic knowledge of English suggesting a slightly higher degree of ignorance on the part of men. Um, but let's see, when we press this button, we flip them to put the gender in the row and the variable in the, and the knowledge in the column, and we get this, which can be very confusing, because this has no basic knowledge, 50% male, 50% female, but that's not actually what we want. That's saying that 50% of the people that said they had no basic knowledge were male, and 50% of the people that said they had no basic knowledge were female. That's telling us about the sample, the sample of respondents, and there were more females than males responding. So that's why we get that. That doesn't tell us anything about uh, the relative knowledge of the genders. For that, we need the variable of the thing we're looking into in the rows and then the div thing we're dividing it in the columns. And there we have it again, 67 to 61%. So don't misread your cross tabs.